Iran has been hit by one of the most sophisticated computer viruses ever designed, Stuxnet, a worm that could be the first in a new generation of malicious software or malware. The experts have done their homework. According to them, this was no ordinary amateur hacker job, and whoever did this had a very specific target in mind. On September 25th, Iranian officials announced that a sophisticated malicious software, otherwise known as the Stuxnet, had affected at least 30,000 Windows-based computers in the country. Iran's intelligence minister has assured the Iranian people that the country's nuclear facilities have not and will not be affected in any way. Haydar Moslehi says Iran faces sabotage attempts by Western governments on a regular basis and now has this situation under control. Moslehi says Iran's intelligence department has found a solution for confronting the worm which will be applied. The emerging consensus among international digital security experts who have examined Stuxnet is that this highly complex computer worm which has spread through Iran, Indonesia, China and India was built to destroy operations at one target, possibly Iran's Boucher nuclear reactor. Iran's nuclear officials have not yet commented on the extent of potential damage to critical infrastructures. They've only reported that laptops used by employees at the Boucher power plant have been infected and that the problem has already been fixed. Stuxnet has been described as one of the most refined pieces of malware ever discovered and has been most active in Iran according to Symantec, a leading world digital security company. This has led to speculations that the likely target of the virus has been Iranian nuclear facilities. The same analysts believe there's a strong possibility that key elements behind this virus are Israeli hackers. The US and its allies oppose Iran's nuclear program, claiming it is a cover-up for building a nuclear bomb. Tehran categorically rejects this accusation and says its sole purpose is generating power. In this program, we will look at how Iran has reacted to the Stuxnet virus and how the cyber attack is being viewed in Iran. The idea of using cyber means to advance political ends is nothing new. ویروس هایی که این روزها میگن یا حمله سایبری که مراکز صنعتی یا تأسیسات هستی اینها یک چیز تازه ای نیست اخبارش تازه یه مقدار همه گیر شده و الا از سالهای قبل وجود داشته فقط در بحث صنایع نیست این مسئله بیشتر خطرش اونجاست که در صنایع نظامی نفوذ میکنه نه اینکه حالا یه کارخونه ماشین سازی یا یه کارخونه دوربین سازی اون چیزی که اهمیت داره برای کشورها نفوذ ویروس ها و جنگ های سایبری بر, علا... بر علیه کارخانه های نظامی و تأسیسات نظامی و دفاعی هست But what's the story of Stuxnet? No one knows its exact date of creation. All we know is it was first detected by a Belarusian security firm in January 2010. The worm, however, has been spreading since June 2009 or maybe earlier. One of its components has a compile date of January 2009, which may be the design date. If so, there's a gap between when it was created and started spreading and the time it was discovered. So how is it possible for a super virus to enter a system and not be detected for a whole year? That's the question. The virus of Stuxnet is close to 8 months that it has started to be active. And this system has a special change in its own. From this reason, after 6 months, the companies that are in the life of anti-virus و از ادده ویروس ها فعال میکردن تونسته بودن این ویروس رو شناسایی بکنن علت این که نتونسته بودن خیلی سریع پیدا بکنن این ویروس این بوده که رد پای خودش رو پس از انتقال اطلاعات پاک میکرده این رد پای از خودش جا نمیذاشته و پس از انتقال اطلاعات به اون مرکزی که در داخل ویروس مشخص شده بوده 
رد پای خودش رو پاک میکرده و به خاطر همین پس از 6 ماه درستن این ویروس رو شناسایی بکنه و نزدیک دو سه ماهی هستش که الان شرکت های معتبر و من جمله دو تا از شرکت های داخلی کشور و دو شرکت ایرانی تونستن آنتی ویروس استاکسنت رو تحییل بکنن و در اختیار وارد سنتی ما خراب بکنن According to international digital security companies, this complex worm is designed to infiltrate industrial control systems, namely programmable logic controller or PLC systems that run machinery in industrial processes. The majority of these systems are of similar make. I confirm that uh, Stuxnet is attacking software, solo, uh, software programs from Siemens. That is right. شروع این کرم یه مقداری احساس میشه که جهت دهی شده هست به خاطر اینکه رایانه های بر مبنای سیستم های زیمنز هستن رایانه های صنعتی در دنیا کم نیست اما اشاعی که این ویروس پیدا کرده سمت ایران 58 و 8 در سهنی نیمی از آلودگی که در دنیا هست در ایران هست یه مقداری ما رو به تعمل وامی داره که شاید یک نگاه ویژه ای روی رایانه های سنتی ایران وجود داره Siemens officials have said that writing the code would have taken many man months if not years to achieve due to the complexity of the software Stuxnet is unusually large in size and is written in different programming languages, quite unusual for malware. These capabilities would have required a team of highly specialized people to make while ensuring the malware wouldn't immediately crash plant control systems. There must have been a team of experts who created uh, this uh, virus. They need uh, They, they must be experts for IT, they must be experts for industrial control systems, they must be experts for industrial production processes, and last but least, for the engineering of a plant. They need, they need to know very well the automation and the automation of a production process. That means experts at least. Yeah, it's, uh, it's also